I'm here uh, answering your questions. You went online and you took your time out and you said, hey guys. What, what happens? It's terrible. Oh, this. Grabbing the mic. Got it. Let's start all over. We're starting all over. We're starting all over, not using any of that. Here we go. Oh, hey guys. What are you doing there? Asking a joker? I'm a joker. Let's get to asking. Thanks so much for tuning in to uh, the Ask a Joker sessions here. We call it the Ask a Joker session after hours with uh, Joe Gatto, uh, one of your favorite jokers. I'm at least number four on your list, so that's good. Um, thanks for watching tonight's episode. If you missed it, um, spoiler alert, we're going to be talking about it. So I don't know what to tell you. You did something wrong in your life. You should either click pause, go watch the episode and come back. Or, no, what? We want them to watch it. So now you have to watch it. And now you're going to know stuff that you shouldn't know. It's terrible. But you put yourself in this situation. Uh, Millie asks, Mer pretended to throw a couple out of Hooters. Have you four have been thrown out of somewhere? Get out. Get out of here right now. Okay. Ah, yeah. uh, one time we got thrown out of a Johnny Rockets because uh, I decided to get up on the table and start dancing with the songs, even though I didn't work at a Johnny Rockets. Um, and they wanted me to get down and I wouldn't, so they refused to give us our food and they threw us out. That was two weeks ago. West asked, pretending to work at Hooters, you had to say titty family chicken. What's the worst job you've ever had? I used to work over at, uh, what was the name of the other place? Oh, it was titty chicken. It was titty chicken. <laughs> this one time I was, uh, I had these, it was me, three, me and my three best friends from high school and Oh, stop it if you heard me, if you've heard this one. Uh, the worst job I've ever had, I've been pretty fortunate in my careers. Uh, I worked at Party City with Murray. Murray got fired because they didn't like him. That's true, after high school, they fired Murray because they didn't like him and I had recommended him and I had gotten a $50 bonus for giving another stock boy and they wanted me to give the money back after Murray, true story, after Murray only lasted like two weeks. And I was like, sorry, I already spent it. That was it. So that was probably the worst, worst experience I ever had where I had to try to fight to keep $50 bonus because my best friend is an idiot and he didn't take his job seriously. I would never say this to him, but he's a real just piece of shit. Just, I would never say it in front of him. I could, I, he, you know, honestly, he almost cost me $50 and he's just a dumb, stupid person, James Murray. If you don't know who I'm talking about, he's right behind me. <laughs> Paige asks, in this episode, we had a first scene of a topless queue. Will Sal ever take the plunge and take off his shirt? There is a, a, a problem with Sal taking his shirt off. Um, Sal has uh, the body of a sexy gelatin, and if he takes his shirt off in public, it will definitely cause a riot. Um, he's Latino, uh, he's half Mexican, half delicious, and if he takes it off, I, I, there's not gonna, we're not going to have to beat away the ladies, and there's nothing we can do about it. So Sal, I don't think he'll ever take his shirt off. Um, Miller asks, how long did it take to unwrap your house? Did you recycle the wrapping paper? I still have the wrapping paper, and I've actually just used it to wrap my niece and nephew's birthday gifts. There's so much wrapping paper. I saved a lot of it, but some of it just got ruined because I was in a fury ripping it down, uh, which took about three and a half hours, so good times for everybody. But um, I was really wanted it to be Christmas paper because I give a lot more gifts out at Christmas time, and that could have helped me. This is like a bubbly, it, it looked like a madman's dream. It looked like, it looked like the house was like full of like a clown party. Like clowns exploded in my home. Um, but I guess the lesson learned is my house is a gift and your house is a gift. And everyone out there, if I could just talk to you real quick about it. You're special. You're so special. And if you don't think you're special, then there's something to say. You're wrong and you're stupid because you're spe I just told you you're special. So remember, if you don't think you're special, you're just so stupid. That's it. And there's nothing special about being stupid. This message brought to you by True TV. That's it, guys. Thanks so much for uh, joining us today on the Ask a Joker. I'm Joe. Uh, hop online, Twitter, Instagram. Do you do this on Instagram, Dan Green? 
nah, he doesn't check Instagram. So just do it on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, use hashtag Ask a Joker, and we will be more than happy to answer your questions. Always on Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Tune in to see more of uh, these antics, and maybe your endings won't be spoiled because then you'll watch the episode and know what I'm talking about. And that's it. I love you. Bye-byes. Special. They're really coming in really hot. <laughs> today, they're coming in so hot. Everybody's really angry here today. Everybody's so angry. I think they're really pissed because it says <laughs> <laughs> It says right on the wall, and there's nothing they can do about it. So now, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the whole interview like this, so no one can yell at me that I touch my chest. Is, is that fine? Is that fine with everyone? <laughs> they're all saying no, but you know what? I'm in charge of my own self. Fine, I'll put it back on. <laughs> I want to hear you guys yell at me. I know the wire. I know the wire. You can see the wire. This is going to be a terrible web chat. I can tell already. <laughs> <laughs>